Have you ever wondered how the music you listen to today has been influenced by technology? It's a fascinating journey, one that begins with the dawn of digitalization in music. This era marked a significant shift in the music industry, a world once dominated by physical records, vinyl, tapes, CDs, was now being reshaped by digital files. The impact was profound, affecting every aspect of music from production and distribution to consumption. Let's start with production. In the pre-digital era, creating music was a complex process, limited to those with access to recording studios and professional equipment. But digitalization democratized music production. Suddenly, anyone with a computer and the right software could create high-quality music from their bedrooms. It was a game changer, giving rise to a new generation of artists and producers. Then came the revolution in distribution. Before digitalization, music was physically distributed through record stores, a process that was both time-consuming and costly. Digitalization streamlined this process, making it possible to distribute music globally with the click of a button. This transformed the music industry, making it more efficient and accessible. But perhaps the most noticeable change occurred in the way we consume music. Before, we had to buy records or CDs to listen to our favorite songs. With digitalization, music became instantly accessible. We could now listen to any song from any artist at any time and from any place. This was a seismic shift, one that changed our relationship with music. The globalization of music is another significant consequence of digitalization. It bridged cultural and geographical gaps, allowing us to explore and appreciate music from around the world. It turned music into a universal language, uniting people across continents. In the grand scheme of things, digitalization was a revolution. It reshaped the landscape of the music industry, breaking down barriers and creating endless possibilities. The digital revolution transformed not just how we listen to music, but also how it's created and shared. Remember when you first heard about MP3s or downloaded your favorite song from an online music store? It was a defining moment, wasn't it? The rise of MP3 and online music stores marked a significant shift in how we consume music. We were no longer bound by the physical limitations of CDs or cassette tapes. With digital music files, we could store thousands of songs on a device no larger than a pack of cards. MP3, which stands for MPEG Audio Layer 3, became the standard format for audio files due to its ability to compress data without a significant loss in sound quality. It was revolutionary. These digital files could be easily distributed over the internet, making music more accessible than ever before. We could now explore different genres, discover new artists, and create personalized playlists with just a few clicks. It was a buffet of music at our fingertips, and it wasn't just about accessibility. Music became more affordable too. Online music stores such as iTunes offered songs for as little as 99 cents. The cost of owning music plummeted, and the world of music opened up to a much wider audience. But with every revolution, there are consequences. The ease of distributing music online led to a surge in music piracy. Unlicensed sharing and downloading of music files became rampant, causing significant revenue loss for artists and record labels. The music industry had to adapt and innovate to survive. In response, the industry introduced Digital Rights Management, or DRM, to control the use, modification, and distribution of copyrighted works. While controversial and not without its flaws, DRM was an essential step in protecting artists' rights in the digital age. The rise of MP3 and online music stores disrupted the traditional music industry. It challenged the status quo, forced innovation, and fundamentally changed our relationship with music. It was a time of rapid change and exciting possibilities. The MP3 and online music stores were game changers, but they were just the beginning. Can you imagine a time when you couldn't stream any song you wanted anytime, anywhere? It's hard to believe, isn't it? Yet not too long ago, this was our reality. The rise of music streaming services like Spotify, Apple Music and others marked a significant shift in the music industry. These platforms, armed with vast libraries of songs and personalized recommendation algorithms, have fundamentally changed the way we discover and listen to music. 
Gone are the days of purchasing individual albums or songs. Today, for a monthly fee or even for free, we have an entire universe of music at our fingertips. But it's not just about convenience for listeners. Streaming services have also disrupted the traditional economic model of the music industry. In the past, artists made the bulk of their income from album sales. But now, with streaming, they are paid per stream. This shift has sparked a great deal of debate. Some argue that this model is unfair to artists, particularly those who are not mainstream. Others contend that it has democratized music, allowing lesser-known artists to reach audiences they might never have accessed otherwise. Moreover, these platforms have not only changed the way we consume music, but also the way music is produced. Today's artists are increasingly tailoring their music to the streaming landscape, focusing on singles and playlists rather than albums. They understand that in the era of streaming, it's more about the number of plays than the number of purchases. Streaming services have also opened up a wealth of data about listeners' habits and preferences. This data is invaluable to artists and record labels alike, helping them understand what resonates with listeners and guiding their creative and marketing decisions. In short, the advent of music streaming services has revolutionized the industry. They've transformed our relationship with music, reshaping how we discover, listen to, and engage with our favorite tunes. And they've redefined the music industry's economic model, sparking debates about fairness and access while ushering in a new era of data-driven decision-making. Streaming services have become the new normal, defining our music experience in ways we couldn't have imagined. So next time you hit play on your favorite playlist, take a moment to appreciate the profound impact of this technology on the music we love. What does the future hold for music in this rapidly evolving technological landscape? As we stand at the threshold of a new era, the potential future trends in music technology stretch out before us like a vast, uncharted territory. One of the most talked about advancements is the rise of AI-generated music. Artificial intelligence is already composing music that's hard to distinguish from music composed by humans. But what if AI could do more than just mimic human creativity? Imagine a future where AI can tap into your musical tastes, your moods, even your memories, to create personalized soundtracks. This could revolutionize not just how we listen to music, but how we experience it. Then there's the concept of virtual reality concerts. As VR technology becomes more advanced and accessible, we may soon be able to experience live concerts from the comfort of our homes. Imagine being able to attend a concert on the other side of the world, or even a concert that's taking place in a completely virtual space. The possibilities are endless, and the implications for the music industry are profound. Finally, let's consider the potential impact of blockchain technology on the music industry. Blockchain could pave the way for a more decentralized music economy, where artists have more control over their work, and fans can directly support their favorite musicians. This could lead to a more equitable distribution of wealth in the music industry, and a shift in power away from traditional gatekeepers. But of course, these are just possibilities. The future of music technology is as unpredictable as it is exciting. Who knows what incredible innovations we'll be discussing in 10, 20, or 30 years' time. Remember, it's not just about the technology itself, but how we use it. It's about how these advancements can deepen our connection with music, and ultimately with each other. The future of music is exciting and unpredictable as technology continues to push the boundaries. So, how has technology truly changed the music industry? Well, let's take a quick journey back through what we've discussed. We started with the advent of digitalization in music, a significant turning point that forever altered how we produce, distribute and consume music. Gone were the days of bulky record players and cassette tapes, replaced by compact digital files that could be stored and played on personal computers and portable devices. Then, we saw the rise of MP3 and online music stores, another monumental shift. Music became more accessible than ever before, with entire libraries of songs just a click away. It was a revolution that broke down barriers, bringing music from all corners of the world right to our fingertips. This led us to the era of music streaming services, 
the current landscape of the music industry. Platforms like Spotify, Apple Music and Tidal have taken the accessibility of music to a whole new level, offering millions of songs to stream on demand. These services have become a one-stop shop for music lovers, providing personalized playlists, radio stations and even podcasts. But with these advancements, there have also been challenges. The democratization of music has led to an oversaturated market, making it harder for artists to stand out. Moreover, the shift from physical sales to streaming has sparked debates about fair compensation for artists. And then there's the future, an exciting yet uncertain frontier. Technology continues to evolve at a rapid pace, and with it, so will the music industry. Virtual reality concerts, AI-generated music, and blockchain-based platforms are just a few potential trends on the horizon. As we've seen, technology has profoundly shaped the music industry, but one thing remains constant, our love for music. So keep listening, keep exploring, and stay tuned for the next technological revolution in music.